The best way to learn about Word is to use it. We'll create this simple document. It's a mailing that we're sending out to our customers. We start typing the first line. By the way, the default font when Word starts is Times Roman in a 10-point size. We've changed our default to an Arial 12-point font, which looks a little better on camera. Later, you'll learn how to change fonts. Back to our typing. If we make a mistake, we can press the backspace key to erase the mistake. Then we continue typing. When we're working on a document, Word displays a book icon in the status bar. Word automatically checks for spelling and grammar errors as we type. While it's checking, a pen appears over the book. If no errors are found, a check mark displays. Later, we'll see what happens when we make an error. As we approach the right margin, our text wraps to the next line automatically. To make our work even easier, Word provides a feature called AutoCorrect that will automatically correct common misspellings and other typing errors. Watch what happens when I misspell the word this. When I type a space to end the word, AutoCorrect fixes the error. You can even add words to AutoCorrect that you commonly misspell. To modify AutoCorrect, you'll find it on the Tools menu. When we continue, we misspell another word. This time, it's not a misspelling that autocorrect recognizes, but Word's automatic spell checking feature catches the misspelling and marks it. Notice that the status of the spelling and grammar checker shows an X, meaning that it's found an error. When we click on a marked word using the right mouse button, a shortcut menu appears with a list of suggested words to correct our misspelling. The right mouse button will display different shortcut menus depending on where the pointer is. When we click on the word we want, the mistake is fixed. By the way, you can also double click on the book icon to display the shortcut menu for an error. Hi, honey. Hi, this is my wife, Julie. Hi. Terry's doing a great job of shoveling, but he keeps complaining. He's saying things like, moose don't shovel and bears don't shovel. Yeah, he's into nature these days. <laughs> Well, teaching somebody else about Microsoft Word? Mm -hmm. I just showed them Word's automatic spell checking feature. Oh, great. He probably forgot to tell you this, but you should know that besides automatically checking spelling and grammar, Word's writing tools let you check an entire document at once for spelling and grammar, add new words to the spelling dictionary, and find the words you want with a thesaurus. Thanks, honey. Anytime. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. There, that finishes the sentence. We go on with the paragraph. To type the business name in all caps, we press the caps lock key and type. To end the paragraph, we press the enter key the insertion point moves to the next line. We want to leave a blank line here, so we press Enter again. Now we'll start the next paragraph. Oops, we forgot to turn off Caps Lock. That's a pretty common mistake, but AutoCorrect helps us here, too. When I press the space bar, the error is fixed, and a Caps Lock is automatically turned off, so we can just continue typing. And if that isn't enough, another way Word helps us is with AutoComplete. Word has an auto text feature with memorized text that we use often, such as common words and phrases. Watch what happens when we start to type the month name September. Once we've typed enough of the auto text for Word to recognize it, the autocomplete feature suggests the entire text. If it's what we want, we just press enter and it's completed for us. You can see how helpful this can be, especially with long chunks of typing. If you want to add your own items of auto text, you can get at it on the Tools menu under AutoCorrect. Now we'll finish typing the mailer. There, that should do it. That's the basic content of the mailer.
In the next topic, we'll change it by inserting and deleting text.